Fortnite squad. If you're an amazing shooter or an amazing builder, there's always going to be a fan favorite category. Once upon a time, Fortnite's finest buildings were known as the best players. But nowadays, buildings evolve to another level. Just take a look at what pro building looked like a few seasons ago. Building shifted from just building a wall and a ramp to defend yourself to building Fort Knox. Hey guys, this is Keith Allen Henson, and in this analysis, we're going to be diving into who we think are the best builders currently in Fortnite. We'll assess them based on how effectively they can build in all scenarios, including late game tunneling and various stressful environments. Being a good builder in playgrounds is not the same thing as being a pro builder in real games. We've all had admiration for the playground warriors, and just a few moments later, we then drop the Omega Lows when they've underperformed in real games. Consistency is the reason top builders perform well in all scenarios. Let us know in the comments section how your list squared off against ours. All right, guys, without wasting too much time, let's get into this. Now, number five might be quite controversial. Best rest assured, he deserves a spot and will tell you why. Faye Sway, not too long ago, joined Faze after they picked him up due to his amazing building skills. The boy makes normal games look like a playground. When Sway builds, you'll know it's him because he pulls off these crazy moves nobody dares to do outside of playgrounds. And what's really scary about all this is that he's using a controller. While he doesn't have much competitive experience, he's a great player and has very fast reactions. He makes top builders look like amateurs when he starts building. He went from 250k followers to over a million once he signed with FaZe. And that's not just because he joined FaZe. Sway has talent and we're itching to see how he performs in the future. So who takes the number four spot? All right guys, at number four we have Mr. Savage, the 14 year old prodigy from Norway. He's been on the radar of even top pros since he rose to fame. And that's because Mr. Savage has many top five placements in competitive. We've seen his building style being very effective at the pro level as he scores well in all pop-up cups and came in first place during the World Cup warm-up. He's low, I tied him 65, he's no shield. I have an angle. Got him, he's dead. If I him, 20. 22. Me, me. I'm gonna drop down a bit and just wall them off. Dead, nice. Dead. Two v one. He's out of massive. Yeah, let, let me let me use Vanguard. Let's yeah, he's... both drop them at the same time. Yeah, okay. Three, two, three, two, one, go. Like Mongrel, Savage relies heavily on flicks as he does for building. One of the really mind-boggling things about him is that he's able to control his high sensitivity the way any other player with low sensitivity. I'm sure you've noticed all these times when Mr. Savage shut players down really quickly. His fast reactions with incredibly fast sensitivity make for an explosive performance. Now, into our next spot. Here we have the infamous Jao Mok. In mainstream Fortnite, everybody in the Fortnite community knew who Jao Mok was. He was one of the top builders, but now since everybody has top tier building skills, he seems to have just have been a dying flyer, but that's not the case. Jao Mok is still, as he has always been, one of the fastest builders. Oh, that guy got rocked. Oh, y'all, everyone's getting fucked today, boys. Yeah. Oh, that guy. I 
Max. Oh. I need these nuts. What I think everybody is missing when it comes to John Mack is that he is such a confident player. To me, it seems like he's always in control of every situation. I remember when John Mack openly allowed people to stream snipe him because he was so confident in his building skills. John Mack is a master builder, and he still hasn't lost his grip when it comes to the building aspect. We've seen him compete time and time again, and although he hasn't gotten any real good placement, he's consistent. Now I'm sure by now you guys know who's coming at number two. Yep, you guessed right, we have Mongrel. Now Mongrel is a very distinct type of a player. He's fast, he's aggressive, and he also has the brains. GG, best player. When we take a look at his accomplishments, he hasn't yet had a chance to perform at any major LAN event because he's too young. But that hasn't stopped Mongrel from impressing us with his effective building. Mongrel uses flick for building, as he does for aiming, which means he's a very snappy player. He builds faster than any human should actually be able to. Seriously, when he builds, it almost looks like a blur. Sometimes you have to just play at half speed just to make a sense of what he's building. You can also see the panic in players he's build fighting. This type of building is definitely the most effective for pub stumping because casual players won't know how to react. But when we talk about the pro scene, I do see it losing its shine, which is what knocked him out of the top spot. Pro players aren't going to break under pressure, and when it comes down to speed, Mongrel may only be slightly faster than them. Regardless, Mongrel scores well in all pop-up cup events, which tells me his building speed does work. Number one is probably very obvious by now. When you have a top five list and Tfue isn't one of the four, you know he's number one. Now, if I had one word to describe Tfue, it would be winner. Tfue has shown time and time again, he's the master capable of winning three major first place LAN events. And recently, first place in the solo World Cup qualifiers, Placement, dude, I guess. That's what we can go for, right? Bro, what? Tifu's building skills revolve around a more measured, composed style of gameplay. He's not blazing fast like Mongrel or 200 IQ like Mr. Savage, but he always finds a way to win build fights in virtually every scenario. He's the type of guy I wouldn't want to come across. Tifu is not only known for being one of the best builders around, but he also has this state of mind where he makes sure every building piece counts. He's a work smart, not hard type of player. And when it comes to competitive Fortnite play, this is probably the best style of gameplay. Got this guy. Nice. Oh, I'm dead in zone. This guy behind you. No. Yeah, I know. I tried to zone. We got him. Wait, is it pulling back? I don't know, but. No, it's a 1v1v1. 1v1v1! Can we do that out, maybe? Nice. 1v1, 1v1, by the way. 1v1. Yeah, yeah. I have a campfire? Oh, I have three. Can't place it. You have no mask. No mask, my ass. The late game requires a lot of materials, and if you're able to manage your resources, you basically have the game on your back pocket. This is what we love about Fortnite the endless possibilities, and every week we see a top Fortnite player pulling off something new. Let me know how your top comparison matched up against ours, and I promise I won't take it personally if you can back it up. Once again, this is Keith Allen Henson, and stay tuned for more videos.